Starting off in the gym is not easy, but I want to go over a few tips to make sure that you can make the most out of just getting started in the gym. First step is to try not to get so obsessed with all the gym gear that you need and just get started. I see this often. People need to get the perfect outfit, headphones, shoes, supplements to get started in the gym. When in reality, all it takes is just walking through the front door. You don't want to get too focused on every little thing that you need for a good workout and just focus on getting in and getting in your first few workouts. My next tip is to make sure you have a plan for when you're going into the gym. I see it often that people go to the gym just getting started and they go and hop up on the treadmill, they walk for 20-30 minutes, get bored, and then they leave. That's not the most optimal way to work out and it's just downright boring. Coming in with a plan to make sure that you stay accountable to one, getting into the gym, but two, making sure you're making the most out of your workouts is gonna serve you in the long run. If you're looking where to get started, there's many different workout plans online that you can find, or you can even hire a personal trainer to help out with that. My next tip is to not skip your warmups. This is an important part of your overall fitness, and it's gonna keep you from injuring yourself and making the most of your workouts. Warm-ups are meant to get yourself moving before you go into your heavier working sets or any type of resistance training, and it's necessary to get your joints, muscles, and tendons all warmed up before you work out. Warm-up doesn't need to be super intense, it just needs to get your heart pumping and get you sweating a little bit. You can go and hop up on the treadmill or on a workout bike, where having a dynamic workout is the best way to prime your body for any type of workout that you're going to go through. You're essentially doing this to wake up your muscles and get them ready for action. Another tip is to not do the same workout over and over and over again. Your body needs to adapt, and you do this by progressing through different exercises. Your body will respond to the stimulus that you provided, and at a certain point you're going to start to hit a plateau. If the bodyweight squats just aren't doing it for you anymore, maybe progress to something like a goblet squat or a front squat. This allows you to make your workouts more exciting by changing up the exercise selection, as well as it's going to give you better results. A good workout plan would have you going into the gym three to four times per week, and after a period of four to eight weeks, then you can switch up your program. And this depends on a lot of different factors, enjoyability being one of the most important things when you're just starting off. Circling back to what I said earlier, another tip is to make sure you're doing weight training and not just cardio training. Cardio has its time and its place. It's good for your overall heart health and for burning calories. But the best way to have long-term results in the gym is to start with resistance training. Resistance training is also going to help burn calories, but it has the benefit of building a muscle, which is going to increase your overall daily calorie expenditure while your body's at rest. So while you're watching Netflix, you're going to be burning more calories than we would be had you not done resistance training. Another tip is to make sure that you stretch after your workouts. This is one that a lot of people skip out on. They finish the workouts and they just go home. Then you feel it the next day. You get what's called delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS for short, and it doesn't feel that great. So make sure that you stick around to get your stretching in and maybe a little bit of some abdominal work as well, and it's gonna pay off down the road. Another tip is to make sure you don't forget to re-rack your weights. This might not seem like common knowledge to some people. I do see dumbbells lying around the gym at some times, but it's proper gym etiquette to make sure that you put your dumbbells and free weights away after you're done using them. This is so that people don't trip over them and it just keeps the gym more cleanly. One that makes sense but often is left out of people's programming is training your legs. Now this may make sense, but unfortunately not everyone is apt to train their legs. This is a problem as your legs make a good portion of your total body weight, so ignoring them altogether is just gonna leave you with chicken legs, just being honest. <laughs> and nobody wants chicken legs. Training your legs is kinda like building your base. You don't build a pyramid of a small bottom, you need a big supporting base to make sure that you're able to build the upper levels of it. So don't leave out leg training from your programming. And no, running doesn't count for building up your legs. No one wants to curl more than they can squat. I'll just put it that way. I hope this video is useful if you're just getting started working out in the gym. If you feel a little bit nervous, I recommend reaching out to a personal trainer to get some help with getting started on the right foot. If you found this video useful, you can hit that subscribe button below for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys next time.